what to do. Hello. Do you know that combining fresh papa leaf, that is papaya leaf and pizza leaf for poultry and livestock animals offers significant medicinal, nutritional and health benefit. I know that many of you know about pizza leaf working alone. You know papaya leaf working alone. But most of you have not combined it before. I have done the research and this is the result. You can see this is pizza leaf and papaya leaf. Fresh ones. Let me first give you the medicinal, nutritional and the health benefit of this combo. Bitter leaf and fresh purple leaf has very great antioxidant properties. Both purple and bitter leaves are rich in antioxidants, helping to reduce oxidative stress in poultry and livestock. The boost immune system. Papaya leaves are known for their immunomodulatory properties. Why bitter leaves strengthen immunity, making animals more resistant to infections. They have antibacterial and antiviral properties. The compounds in both leaves help protect against bacterial and viral infections promoting overall health of poultry and livestock animals. They improve digestion. Bitter leaves help to improve digestion and appetite in poultry and livestock, reducing blotting and indigestion. They help in blood purification. The combination of fresh purple leaf and bitter leaves helps to detoxify the blood ensuring better blood circulation and reducing toxic pudor in animals. They have anti-inflammatory properties. Both leaves have anti-inflammatory properties which helps reduce inflammation in poultry, particularly in cases of respiratory infections. The mixture helps in expelling intestinal worms due to its natural anti properties. They enhance egg production. The nutritional value of both leaves, particularly in laying hands, enhances egg production and egg quality at the same time, the egg vitality. The nutrient boost from combination improves both the speed at which your poultry and livestock animals grow and at the same time, weight gain in poultry, support faster and healthier growth. They are cost-effective supplement. These leaves are easily accessible. They provide a natural and cost-effective solutions and synthetic supplement for your poultry and livestock animals. How do we administer these plants and their dosage. One, pluck fresh purple leaf and bitter leaf. Wash them very well. You can see the two. Make sure you wash them properly to avoid bacterial infestation. Expound them. If you have blender, use your blender and blend them. If you have mortar, pound them as we are going to watch in this particular content. Crush them together and mix with water. Extract the juice from the leaves. For poultry, add 5 to 10 ml of the extract per liter of drinking water and serve to your poultry best. For larger livestock animals like sheep, goat, cow, 50 to 100 ml in feed or in drinking water, depending on the size of the animal. Two to three times a week is good and for a better result. Which diseases does this particular plant 
cure or remedy. One, we have coccidiosis. This plant can help to manage and completely cure coccidiosis. Both the purple and bitter leaves have antimicrobial and antioxidant properties that help to prevent the spread of coccidiosis or a common intestinal disease in poultry, Newcastle disease, which is a viral disease. The immune boosting properties of purple leaves and bitter leaves help strengthen the bird's resistance to viral infections like Newcastle, Gumboro, and others. It also helps in deworming your poultry and livestock animals. The bitter leaves and the purple leaves also help to eliminate worms in the digestive tract of poultry and livestock animals. Respiratory infections, CRUD. The anti inflammatory properties of the leaves help to treat respiratory infections, reducing symptoms like coughing and difficult in breathing. Bacterial infections. The antibacterial effect. Of both leaves are six in controlling bacterial infections like Salmonella and E. coli, Gomboro disease. The immunomodulatory effects from these particular plants, bitter leaf and purple leaves, can aid in preventing these viral infections that affect the immune system of poultry animals. Digestive issues. Bitter leaves is particularly helpful and it aids in improving digestive portion of the poultry and livestock animals, preventing constipation and at the same time reducing the risk of gut-related infections. Fungal infection. The antifungal properties of purple leaf and bitter leaf extracts help control fungal infections in poultry such as aspergillosis, parasite infestation, the combination of purple leaf extract and bitter leaf help in treatment of intestinal worms like lice, mites, and others, and internal parasites like hookworm, tapeworm, and others. It's also good in treating fever in big animals. The bitter leaf have been traditionally used to treat fever, which at the same time affects the growth and the well being of your poultry and livestock animals. It also helps to boost the overall health. These medicinal plants can be used as natural alternatives to synthetic drugs, offering safe and low cost treatment for common poultry and livestock diseases. Now, this is how you process it wash it well and pound it. Continue to pound both the leaves together to make sure that it is properly done so that you'll be able to get and squeeze out the juice this is the pounding process going on you can use your mortar you can use your blender or you can use your grinding machine any means you know that you can get this juice to make sure the juice is easier for you to squeeze out do it this is the process going on here here it is properly done. You can see it now. We now need to add little water to enable us get out the juice. After squeezing the juice out, you can augment the water by adding extra water depending on the number of beds you want to see. You can see the water here. We are now squeezing out the juice see the water see the juice you can see it this is exactly what you're going to serve to the beds you need to add extra water filter it well so that it will not block the nipples depending on your drinking types make sure you filter it that's what what's going on here now we're squeezing out the juice and we are filtering it out also so that we can serve to our beds, share to your poultry beds. Please always consult a veterinarian for accurate diagnosis and treatment guidance. This is educational content. Thank you for watching this content till the end. And I will advise you to subscribe to this particular channel and activate the bell notification so that 
Any time I release an interesting topic like this, you'll be among the first set of subscribers that get notified by this our wonderful app. Thank you once again, and I thank all my returning subscribers and the first timers. You are all blessed. Till I come your way with another interesting topic loading very soon. For now, I say bye. Mm.